Good luck. <laughs> Is the trailer coming? Yeah, it's, it's hooked on. Just go slow. It's our front door. There it is. I can, I'll level it out. What do you think, Buds? Buds? Ah. Here they are. Those are our neighbors. And then our other neighbors. <laughs> They're gonna be right there. Well, there's Dan. <laughs> Morning, guys. I know it's not Friday for y'all, but happy Friday. Uh, happy Monday, I guess. I just wanted to do a little injury and workout update for you guys, for anybody that's interested in that part. Oh my goodness. There's such a really cute bird outside. It's so tiny. Let me see if I can show you guys. You see him? He's so tiny. Oh my goodness. Okay, sorry. So I just wanted to update you guys on workouts. So, as I told y'all earlier this week, I am getting back into my powerlifting program. I've touched base with my coach again, and we're just gonna take it nice and slow. Numbers that I pulled this week, I'm just adding five pounds to each of them for next week. I've, I've discussed my powerlifting program before on the channel, but today's workout was basically higher volume of what I did on Monday. So deadlift, hip thrust, lat pull down, uh, hamstring curls, and a few other exercises. Three sets of 12, and everything felt good. It felt so good. I'm just so excited to be back lifting. Um, don't get me wrong, body weight stuff, cardio, that was cool. And it was a nice reminder that there's more to health and fitness than just lifting. But I, my passion is in lifting heavy. I just love it so much. We haven't been back to the rock gym yet. I'm still taking it super easy in that sense. And we might go back next week. We were planning on going this week. But I've taught three cycle classes in the last week. And I started lifting again. So it's probably not a good idea to add climbing into the mix as well. Feeling really good. And as far as food goes haven't been tracking my macros. I haven't been tracking my intake. I've just been focusing more on intuitive eating. And again, I can talk more on this in, in a separate video, a video that's about intuitive eating tips and, and tips for transitioning into intuitive eating for you guys. So hopefully I can get that recorded soon. I'm gonna be honest about it. I, I can't really put a label on it, but I haven't been that great at eating intuitively, like listening to my hunger because I'm still stuck in the mentality of needing to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and needing to eat certain times, or feeling like I should eat post-workout so I don't get hungry or, or lightheaded, but I'm not hungry yet. So it's kind of interesting trying to find that balance between the two. But at the same time, I can. I have noticed that I don't feel as inclined to clean my plate every single meal like I have before. Um, and a lot of the time I was eating things that would fit into my macros, but I would be, I wouldn't want to track half of it. So say like a Linnean Layers cookie, I don't want to eat just one half and then save the half, other half for later. So I would log the whole thing. So every time I ate a Linnean Layers cookie, I felt like I needed to eat the entire thing. But yesterday I had one on the way home from the store and I think I ate less than half of it and 
I was actually able to feel satisfied and I set the rest in the fridge for later and I haven't touched it since. Something that I've definitely lost touch with when tracking my macros because if you log a meal or you log a snack or something, you feel like you need to eat it all because you don't want to have to go back and track just a portion of it if you've already entered the whole thing. You guys that track your macros understand exactly what I'm saying. It's been awesome. I'm feeling really good. And as far as my weight goes, it's been like really consistent. So one of the things that I'm gonna encourage you guys whenever you move over to intuitive eating is to get rid of your scale. But for the sake of experimenting and showing you guys that this is a sustainable, very healthy lifestyle after tracking your macros or after any dieting at all, I've been looking at my average weights and I've seriously, although it fluctuates day to day, my average is staying around about 141, which is kind of averaging lower than when I was tracking my macros because I would, track for a few days and then I would start to feel that restriction and I would overeat just for the sake of it. Not that I was hungry, but I think it's because I was rebelling against that any type of dieting. My body and my mind are just ready to, to stop tracking and stop basically adhering to any guidelines and just eat. So my weight's been leveled out. There have been some days where I know that I eat a lot more. There are some days that I know that I eat slightly less but it seems to regulate itself and that's why our bodies are so amazing. I feel like I've rambled on plenty. It's been six minutes now, so hopefully you guys are enjoying these updates. Make sure and hit that thumbs up. It really, really helps the channel. Let me know that you enjoy these types of videos, the workout and diet updates. Leave some comments below and I will see you guys in the next clip.